previously on Buy a House with Sweat Equity. So guys, I, uh, Amal's on her way over here now, and I, I just wanted to, well, I just want to let you guys know that it doesn't sound like we got this place. Um, it's, like I was telling you before, there's like a ton of competition. Oh my God, guys, congratulations. What? Oh my God, the deal. Oh God. All right, friends, we're gonna head over to the house. They won the house. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> what just happened? I want to run a contest over the next seven days. Here's what the winner's gonna get. You're gonna get $500 cash. We're gonna do a random draw next week and one person is gonna win $500 cash and two hours privately with me so that I can develop a plan like this just for you and help you to get your own house. All right, welcome back everybody. Hey, listen, we've got a really, really important show to do today and I'm here with Hassan Rafiq. We're gonna bring him in in a second, but I wanna to talk to you about exactly what it is. So if you think about where we're at in the process, we've found the house, we put the offer in the house, we won the house. Um, because we're doing this show, I am taking a major risk with this, but I know I've got lenders that will help me out. We're closing in two weeks. So in the next two weeks, we got to get the first mortgage arranged. We got to get the second mortgage arranged. We got to figure out our construction budget. We got to get the money for construction arranged. So this whole show is about show me the money. My name's Ken Dunn. I'm a real estate investor, developer, and a national housing advocate. For decades now, thousands and thousands of Canadian families have been stuck in situations that they don't want. They want to own homes. They want a place to call their own and raise their families. And they're struggling trying to put the money together for a down payment. They're struggling trying to keep their credit in good standing, paying for rent, being moved around, and never feeling settled down. Real estate investors have been using strategies for decades where they buy houses with other people's money, they borrow the money to increase the value, and they sell the houses making incredible profits. I'm going to show these Canadian families how to use the same techniques to buy their dream homes. They're not going to need down payments, they're not going to need credit, because they're going to buy a house with sweat equity. All right, welcome back guys. We got Hassan right here. How are you, brother? Good, how are you doing, Ken? Good, good. So we're talking about raising the money today to do this. And um, like you know, you've been with me through this whole show since we started. This is where people get really freaked out when you start actually talking about the loans and, and what's gonna happen. So I wanna first off talk to you about the actual process, right? It, to think about what we're doing. The first thing you have to remember and what everybody should know is these techniques that I'm teaching to buy houses, they're not new techniques. People have been doing this for a hundred years. This is how real estate investing works. And what I've noticed dealing with the Farrens and the alleys is that even though it's something that I'm comfortable with and everybody's comfortable with, it's, it's really unusual for people because they're so brainwashed into thinking the banks are the only way to do this and nothing else is gonna work. And then they start hearing about the amount of money this is gonna cost and the payments for that money and everybody loses their marbles. So my question to you is, I made you and Darshni have some private conversations about this and make sure you guys totally understood what was gonna happen to make sure you didn't have any questions or any reservations. Is there anything about the concept before we actually get into the numbers that that are important for you to clarify in this process no i think i think like you said our biggest concern was the fact that it is an unusual way of doing things but just because it's unusual does not make it impossible to do right. so when we did our numbers even with this so-called unusual strategy it still makes sense at the end of the day we are still able to take over the house create a lift renovate it the way that we want it to do so for us at the end of the day we are a happy couple <laughs> yeah. So we bought this, we're buying this place for 525,000, right? Yeah. That's freaking great. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull up the chalkboard and we're, we're just going to draw this stuff up out again and make sure that we're on the right track for it. Mm -hmm. So the f most important thing that we want to talk about first is how are we going to buy the house? So we need to come up with $525,000, but we also have closing costs and other things that we have to take care of in this. Now to buy a house, 
there's a there's a number of things that you have to keep in mind. First, it's what you're paying for it. You're paying five hundred and twenty five thousand dollars, but in addition to that, there's some standard fees that come anytime you buy a house. And the, one of the first fees is what you're going to pay the lawyer. You're normally going to pay a lawyer about three thousand dollars to do that. And then there's something that we all hate, but it's part of the game. It's called land transfer tax. What land transfer tax is, is an actual tax, a fee that we have to pay for the government mm -hmm. anytime a property changes hands. So because you're buying this property, you're going to have to pay a land transfer tax to the government for that. That land transfer tax on this property is going to be $9,000. So the actual amount of money that we're going to need to come up with on closing is $525,000 plus $3,000 plus $9,000. So it's five hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. So now that we got that figured out, and and every single person, we're basically going to break this into three mortgages. The first mortgage is going to come through a mortgage broker, and we're going to refer you to Dan Char, who's going to get this all taken care of for you. He's going to get you a first mortgage. Now we like to be able to get a first mortgage up to. Probably 70%. I think anybody that's doing this, if you're buying a house in a town or a city around lots of properties, you should be able to get somewhere between 70 and 75% of the value in that, in that first mortgage. Now, this is all expensive money when you're in this process because it's all private loans and we're doing this to raise the value so then we can refinance it. But the more you get in the first mortgage, the less you have to get from somebody else. So if we think about the $525,000 value, we multiply that by 70%. We're looking for 367,500 in the perfect world. So step one, once we're finished the show today, you're gonna give Dan Char a call. He'll get you set up with that, and get that okay. first mortgage arranged. I've already had conversations about him. We already sent him a copy of the purchase agreement. So he's waiting for you to call. Okay. And he's already told me that he knows somebody that's gonna do that deal. Sweet. So, so we got that part taken <laughs> care of, which is really cool. And friends, that's how a good mortgage broker is going to work. If you're doing this yourself, make sure you go out, find a great mortgage broker and tell them everything you're doing, saying, I'm going to buy a house. I'm using 100% private financing to buy the house. I'm going to increase the value through renovations. Then we're going to bring it back to you to refinance with an A bank. And they're going to take an application from you right up front. They're gonna ask you for your credit score. They're gonna do a credit report on you. They're gonna to wanna to know about your income. And the reason being is they wanna look at your deal right up front. And this is what Dan's gonna do with you. He's gonna ask you for all this stuff and he's gonna figure out what you're gonna be able to afford up front. And you're gonna tell them that you're buying the place for 525. You're gonna have $100,000 in renovations to the place. But then there's another $50,000 in, in carrying costs. Remember the cost of paying yep. for the mortgages and stuff. So you're going to be looking for a mortgage when you're done of $675,000. So when you go to Dan, you're going to talk to him about the first mortgage, but you're also going to tell them the takeout mortgage at the end is going to be $675,000. Got it. What he's going to do then is pre-approve you for that final mortgage. So he's going to want your credit report, going to want to know about your income, your employment letters from your employers, and he'll get you pre-approved for that. Or if not, he'll tell us that you can't right up front now so that we don't jump into this deal knowing we can't get out. Biggest rule I teach real estate investors right across this country, never get into a deal unless you can get out of it, unless you know how to get out of it. So this is a good example for everybody that's following the sweat equity model to buy a house for their family. You have to know how to get out of the deal. So you're gonna go to your mortgage broker with the private financing, you're going to assume that you're paying $100,000 for the renovations and let's say $50,000 for the carrying costs. So what you pay for it, add your renovations and carrying costs and give them this number and ask him to get you pre-approved for the takeout at the end of this. Because if he can't get you pre-approved for this, then you shouldn't proceed. You shouldn't do this right up front. So that's really important. The other thing that can happen, friends, is if you give him the number that you want him to pre-approve for you for at the end, and for any reason, he says things are too tight. There's a, there's a calculation that the banks and brokers use, and it's called the TDSR. TDSR stands for Total Debt Service Ratio. 
So what they're going to do is they're going to take all your expenses and they're going to take your mortgage payments and they're going to add them up and they're going to deduct whatever that total amount is from your total gross income. And that number is not allowed to exceed 40%. So some of you are going to end up in situations where the broker is going to say your TDSR is too high, but they'll also help you to fix this because you have six to eight months from when you buy the place now until this is going to be important. The broker, a good broker will say, okay, you've got all these bills. You have this credit card for $8,000 that you're making these payments on. You need to pay that off before you do it or you need to sell your car they'll give you good advice and if you want a house bad enough you'll take that advice so once dan comes back to you and says okay we got you pre-qualified on the takeout and we got you the first mortgage then we're all set does that make sense yep good all right oh yeah one last thing on this show i am going to give away the biggest prize i've given away in the history of the show you want to know what it is Somebody today is going to win a trip to Toronto, Canada to meet me in person at our offices. You're going to stay in my part of Toronto at the Marriott Hotel. You're literally going to get to spend a day on my yacht with me. And I'm literally going to put together a master plan for you to buy a house and make more money in your life. This is a draw that we're going to do on the show today. And if you want to win this amazing trip to Toronto to spend time with me and go hang out on my yacht, an amazing game-changing vacation, you got to watch this show and I'll tell you all about it at the end. Let's talk about the second mortgage right after this. Introducing the ultimate in hydrotherapy and premium relaxation. Experience the epitome of artisanship with Canadian hot tubs. Meticulously handcrafted for over four decades, Canadian hot tubs are synonymous with comfort, depth, and unwavering durability. You can choose from our range of four-foot cedar tubs or indulge in the therapeutic embrace of our five-foot hydrotherapy models. Available in Canada and across the world, Canadian hot tubs bring a touch of luxury to homes worldwide. Craftsmanship that speaks for itself. Visit canhottub.com now. All right, welcome back. We're going to talk about the second mortgage now. But listen, I got to remind you, stick with me. At the end of this show, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can win a trip to Toronto to spend time with me at our office. I'm going to design an entire life plan for you. I'm going to help you to get a house, but I'm also going to show you how to make more money in your life. We're going to spend a day daydreaming on my yacht as part of this. In about 10 minutes from now, I'm going to tell you how to win that prize. Okay, so now if we think about how we're set up here, so we're buying the house for $525,000 and then we subtract the three sixty-seven dollars that we're getting from the first mortgage, it means we're going to need a second mortgage for $160,000. We're going to get this from a second mortgage lender, but before we can actually go out to the lenders, now what's really cool about this, I haven't mentioned this to anybody before, but one of the things I'm going to do for Hassan and Darshani is help them to get the second mortgage really easily. And I'm going to tell you how I do it. I have a program called the Lenders List. So for the last six years, I've been teaching people right across Canada how to make more money for retirement and how to make more money in their lives by making money with private mortgages. So basically, I've been teaching people how to take money that they have and lend it out to other people for private mortgages where they get paid 15 or 18 percent on their money. Thousands of Canadians are taking the, are, the, all of their register funds, their RSPs, their Liras, and they're putting it into independent banks. These are big banks, banks like Pacific Western Trust and Canadian Western Trust, and they're turning them into self-directed RSPs. Then what they do is they lend the money out in mortgages. But if you're on my lenders list, I'm going to make this really easy for you. So I have coaching programs where I have thousands of real estate investors that I work with and I help them to arrange financing through my lenders list. Here's what we do. We build a lenders package, which is what I'm going to talk to Hassan about right now. 
The lenders package is a series of documents that you put together in a Google Drive so we can show it to these lenders. Once the lenders package is prepared, I send an email out to 7,000 lenders in Canada. These are private lenders. And I say to them, Hassan and Darshni need a mortgage for $160,000. Check out their lenders package. If you're interested in lending the money, call them directly. And we have helped to fund over 150 mortgages just in the last 12 months for people. We're going to use the lenders list to help Hassan and Darshni. Hey, listen, if you're interested in knowing more about the lenders list and getting on it yourself and making 20 to 30% per year with your money, then I want you to type the word lender in the comments and my team will give you a link to watch a short video training and you can get signed up. It's $197 admin fee to get on the list and I guarantee the deals if you're on there, the video will tell you all about it. But let's talk about this. So this is the part I was telling you about where you're gonna have to build this Google Drive with all these products, with all right. these different documents in it. And essentially the setup is really simple. Um, we can actually show one on the screen right now so everybody can see it, but it's simply a Google Drive that's got a bunch of folders in it. And inside of the folders, there's several documents that we're going to need to have. You're going to have a folder in here that's going to say purchase agreement. And inside of each folder is just one document. It's whatever it says there. So one document is going to have your purchase agreement. Another document is another folder is going to have the appraisal. We're going to get Amal to give us comparables. And she's already given them to us, but those documents that she gave you that said that once we do the renovation, that's gonna be worth about 900 grand, mm -hmm. you're gonna create a folder that says comparables and you're gonna put those three comparables she gave you into that folder. The next thing is your mortgage commitment for your first mortgage. So Dan Char is gonna get your first mortgage arranged and he's gonna give you the mortgage commitment, which you and Darshni are gonna sign. This is the agreement with the lender that they're gonna give you the first mortgage. Okay. You sign it and then you give it to your lawyer and the other lawyer and they take care of all that other stuff for you. When you get your mortgage commitment signed, you're gonna put that into another one of the folders. The next thing is we're gonna get you to take some pictures of the property like it is now so we can show the lender what it looks like before. Uh, and they go into a separate folder, we'll say as is pictures to get it all there. Uh, and then the last thing and the most important document is a business plan. Now a business plan might seem a little weird. You're saying I'm not starting a business, but you're in the business of borrowing money here. That's why we call it a business plan. The business plan, you're gonna give an overview and you're gonna say, we wanna borrow $160,000 for a one year term. And we're using this money to buy this property that we're gonna renovate and refinance. And we've already been pre-approved for the takeout mortgage at $675,000. So we know it's gonna work. And here's what we're gonna do. And in the business plan, you're going to uh, give them an example of, basically you're gonna give an overview of all this stuff. So your business plan, you're gonna say things like, we bought the property for this, mm -hmm. the renovations are gonna cost this. That's another folder in the package I need to talk about. We need to have a budget on a spreadsheet. So there's gonna be a, another folder that says renovations budget. So we're gonna have another folder that says that. You're gonna fill out the renovations based on what we talked about in the last show. We're gonna get all that stuff arranged. Then we're gonna, um, I'll go over this with you before the next show, cause we gotta move fast. We only have two weeks to get this done. You're gonna get that set up. Then we're gonna send it out to the lenders list and somebody's gonna call you and offer to give you the $160,000 that you need. Once we get that arranged and we're ready to close on the property, then we're gonna take this same lenders package and all we're gonna do is change the business plan slightly and we're gonna say we need $150,000, $100,000 is for the renovations, $50,000 is for the carrying costs. It's gonna bring us up to $675,000, but we know it's worth 900,000, so we're in great shape and you're gonna ask somebody to lend you the 150,000. We're gonna do the same process get the business plan changed, send it out again, say now Hassan and Darshni need 150 grand for the renovations and we're off to the races. Wow. You and make it, it makes, sound so easy. Well, it is easy. <laughs> it's easy because we have this massive lenders list of all these lenders who trust me and a lot of them are watching the show so they know what's going on and I've had already been reached out to several people that, that said they will do that. Um, 
But there's work to do. You have to build this lenders package and it's got to look professional. So I'll give you a couple examples to follow so you know what okay. to do. And then we'll get that done and we'll get the financing arranged. And friends, for everybody that's here today, I want to tell you that we are launching a coaching program. If you want to learn more about the coaching program, you just have to go to buyahousewithsweatequity.com. We're going to put the link in the chat. You can join me on a, a quick what workshop where I'll explain it to you. There is a fee if you want to join the coaching program and you want my help one on one to do this. It's a couple hundred bucks. But if you join the Sweat Equity coaching program, I will personally help you to arrange the financing and guide you through this so we know it works. And now I want to give away that crazy prize a free trip to Toronto, Canada. Hotel accommodations here in Whitby. I'm also going to take you out for dinner and pay for all your meals. You're going to spend a day with me in the office and we're going to put together a life plan for you where you're going to get a house and you're going to learn how to make more money in your life. We're going to change your life forever and then we're going to go celebrate this new plan that you're implementing on my yacht for a day. And one of you is going to win that right after this. If you live in this amazing country and you dream about having a house for your family, a home you can call your own, but you haven't been able to do that because you have a hard time building up a down payment or the banks are telling you they can't help you because of credit, then pay attention. This ad is for you. My name is Ken Dunn and I'm a real estate investor and a national housing advocate. I have to tell you, there's a housing crisis going on right now, but the governments aren't going to fix it for you. All the governments are worried about is building more apartments, building more rental units. But until we figure out a way to help Canadians right across this country to buy homes with no money, then the crisis is never going to end. But don't worry, I've got the solution. I've been investing in real estate projects for more than 30 years, and I've never used any of my own money to buy the real estate. Here's what happens. I find a place that I want to buy. I look for places that are cheaper, than the market. So they're the below value and I buy the, the properties with private money, 100%. And then I renovate the properties, increase the value. Then I go to the bank and say, hey, I own this house that's worth 800,000 and I only need a mortgage for 600,000 and they give me the mortgages. And you know what the dirty little secret the banks won't tell you is? If you have equity in the property, they're not gonna ask to see your credit. They're not gonna ask about your loans. They don't ask about any of that stuff. I want to show you how to do this. I've helped hundreds of Canadian families just like you to buy homes without a down payment. And in this live workshop, I'm going to show you how to go out and find an undervalue house in your community that would make the right home for your family. And it's a fixer upper. Then I'm going to show you how to buy that property without using any money. You use private investors funds and I'll show you how to get them. Then I'm going to show you how to renovate the property using other people's money. And then once it's done, you're going to own a house that's got hundreds of thousands of dollars in equity in it. And you can easily get a bank loan and live happily ever after. It's called buying a house with sweat equity. And if you click on the link, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. All right, welcome back everybody. Can you guys imagine what we're actually doing right now? Does this not seem surreal? You know, we've literally been through such a journey. We learned a lot about people by the fact that, you know, the Farrens in the alleys, they really got uncomfortable and I love them to death. And I know they're gonna come around when they see this work for Hassan and Darshni and they're gonna wanna do it. But we went through that together. We found an amazing house. We found Hassan and Darshni, we bought the house and now we're getting the financing arranged. We're closing on this property in two weeks from now. So that means in two weeks from now, we're gonna be renovating the property and listen to this, this is crazy. So I have a program, a training program for real estate investors called The Syndicate. And there's over 200 people. There's about 80 people right in Toronto. And I reached out to them and I said, we need to do all the demolition in this house really quickly and asked if they'd be willing to help. 25 people said they would help me with the demolition of this property for Hassan and Darshni, which means that 
in three weeks from now, you're going to see us go into that property and completely demolish it in a single day. There is so much amazing happening with this show. We just got to get through Christmas first and we'll be off to the races. But right now, let me tell you what you have to do. I want you guys to look through this episode and I want you to put a post in the group, in this feed, and I want you to list out five of the eight pieces of a proper lender's package. Remember, if you go back through the show, I told you, you got to have the purchase agreement, the appraisal, the comparables, the mortgage commitment, the as is pictures, the renovations budget, and the business plan. So there's eight of them I just gave you. I want you to make a post and say five of the most important part of a lender's package are, and just write five of those things out. Number two, I want you to share this video on another social media channel. You know what? I want you to share this video on Facebook, plain and simple. You have to share this video on Facebook and I want you to come back after you share it and tell me the name of the account that you shared it on so we can go see it. My team is literally going to go check and make sure that you share the video that we can see it on your Facebook page. And everybody who does that, you got to give me five of the most important parts of the lenders package make a post of that now then go share the video onto another source onto your facebook and then go into the feed here and give us say i shared it here's the name of my facebook page we're gonna go verify it everybody that does that we're gonna put them in a draw and next week i'm gonna give away that literally game-changing trip you're gonna to come to this office in Toronto. You're gonna to meet with me for a day. I'm gonna develop a life plan for you where we help you to get a house and how to make more money in your life. And then the next day, we're gonna go spend the day on the yacht and dream about it and celebrate your success. Who wants the trip? All you gotta do is those two things and hang out with me next week and you'll see who wins it. Okay, last thing before I have to go. Uh, last week's show, I said I was gonna give away $500 and a two hour private coaching session with me. And just like always, I'm gonna tell you who won it right now. We just did the draw. That person's got to acknowledge that they won in the chat and then send, our e send an email to our support team. The winner of $500 and a two hour private coaching session with Ken is Delilah Nutt. Congratulations to you, Delilah. We look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to helping you on your journey. We'll see you guys next week.